In this video, we're going to be looking at another way you can customize Windows 8 to suit your needs because uh, I'm going to be doing some acts that you can do to Windows 8 so that uh, you can customize it however you like. So because some people, they prefer the desktop, uh, they don't like to go to the start screen. So and because of that, uh, there are some acts and I'm going to do another video about that, how to actually log in directly to your desktop. So if you log in from, uh, because every time you boot Windows, it actually logs in straight to the uh, to this uh, start screen but if you don't want that you can boot direct you can boot directly to the desktop and when you boot directly to desktop you might not want to go back to the start screen so that means uh, sometimes you will make an error and you put your uh, mouse at the top and it's gonna bring all this charm bar and all the start screen and all the uh, switcher so if you want to disable that there is a way to disable the edges so that uh, they are not responsive and you want to go to win winarrow.com and then download look for the one that says keep metro suite the skip metro suite if you uh, look at that this one allow you to disable all these corners the app switcher the drag to close the chamber and the start button so you can disable them so let's give that a try uh, where is the download button uh, let's download and should take a minute Let's look for the download. I think the download button is here. Uh, it's asking for us to open or save. Let's open. We might it's doing a security scan, and we might want to. It's asking if he wants to install. Next, uh, install. Let's uh, check it out. Let's see what it does. Um, Okay, finish. So, where's the application? There you go. Skip Metro Suite settings. So, as you can see, we can. Uh, this one can automatically logs you into uh, the desktop after you log in. So, as you can see here, it says start screen. Skip start, uh, start screen. So, if you don't want to see the start screen, you just want to log in straight to desktop. You can take uh, take that option. I will I will untick that. Then you can uh, uh, remove the following alt corners: app switcher, drag to close, charm bar, and uh, start button. So, let's save that and uh, let's attempt it. It's still working. I think we need to log out. So what we do is uh, we log out and log back in. Uh, let's log out or log back in. Let's sign out of the system. And then let's sign back in. Mm. I have no idea where my computer is slow today. Okay, um, even though I disabled not to log me straight to the desktop, it did well. Um, so now let's try the all corners. As you can see, every time I place my mouse to the corner, nothing pops out. So definitely, uh, I'm not sure if it's something I want to consider, but uh, if you like it, I will say you should uh, keep it. But uh, for me, I'm going to skip start screen. I am going to remove it and I'm going to actually uninstall it from my system because I like to use the start screen. I think it's a beautiful. I'm going to disable this but I just want to show you if it's something that you're going to find useful, you go ahead and use it. Thank you.